Wow guys, I am blown away. I just, I just discovered a new toy and I hope you are going to enjoy it as well, as much as me. Uh, well, this new thing which showed up in, uh, in Bonsai and I was not aware until uh, the last days and today I get to use it because it had a bug and Dion of course as always has fixed it today and I get to use it. What I'm talking about? Well, let's have a look. So I have a, a sample model open here and if we go to IFC Tester, we got something new friends. IFC Tester web app. What is this? This is an IDS editor and viewer. Okay, it shows you, you can open an, uh, an IDS and you can create an IDS. So it's extremely, extremely powerful. So uh, it starts with uh, Bonsai. If I press on this, we get to load a website like this, a local offline website. You see it has my, or a, yeah, an IP, a local IP. And you can do two things. You can open an IDS if you have already one. If you're not, you can just create a new one. So I press on new. Uh, let's call this uh, IFC tester web app demo. Uh, let's put here Petru Conduraro uh, version one. Yeah, like, you know, you have to put information data here, demo, YouTube demo in my case. These are, things are extremely important, so write proper descriptions, purpose, demo, 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 copyright, BM voice, 2025, okay? Just to have some information, some sample information. Um, here, you should see it if you open it, right? But I'm in editor mode because I, uh, I'm creating for the first time these ideas and then you can switch between them as you can see. Then I'll click here on create a specification. IDSs, information delivery specification, can have one or multiple specifications. That's what it's called, what it is, right? And it's made of three main things. Information that describes your specification, applicability, what, where do apply these requirements to, and the requirements, the details that we want to be met in our model, okay? The yeah, uh, what, are, what are exactly the requirements? So in our case, let's start with project data. Uh, required, required, I will not put any instructions so far. Applicability, again, where do, do we look for? What do we check? And IFC project, right? I'm checking for IFC project and then, um, by the way, sorry for going so quick. There are six facets in IDS, entity, attribute, property, material, classification, and part of. And IFC project is an entity, that's why I use this. In the requirements, if we look at our model, if I go and press on, it's important to press on the project name here and press on this button because otherwise you will not see it. You see, um, you, if you want to see it, you have to press here and you will see project and then name and right under attributes we have the attributes these are attributes right there is a, an attribute which has a name okay which is called name the attribute name and it has the value name <laughs> the name <laughs> yeah the value of that so uh, I'm going to create an attribute in this case and I will leave name and let's say beam voice random okay I want to see if this works and I want to <coughs> make sure that I have a wrong name in the beginning. We see here is another name. We will also see it in another place. So after I define this, now we have, if I look in the viewer, we see that I have a specification and with uh, an applicability, all data where IFC class is IFC project shall be data where attribute is name and value beam voice. Okay, cool. So I will run this. Ah, uh, what's happening? Why do I keep getting this issue? Impossible. This is impossible because I just ran it before and it worked. Hmm. It has something to do with these details, I think. Okay, let's let's avoid adding these details. So let me just add project data here, applicability entity project requirement attribute name BIM or let's just type something it doesn't matter yeah what's happening it has to be a bug when I'm writing this the IDS information okay I'll try to look into it and report that issue but let's focus on what's important here okay 
So uh, I gave a, a random name, like I said, BIM voice. I'm going to test later and see what is the issue. But yeah, you see that we go from editor to viewer and we get the report. We can also download it, I, I think, as an HTML report. But let's look into details. We have a, a specification that is not passing. It's failing, right? So we look for all the applicability, uh, all the data that is IC project shall be the name with BIM voice. It's still BIM voice for some reason. Yeah, I put it in BIM voice. OK. So again, run again, because I don't know how to get back to the results. Uh, so that's, that's OK. Now I will expand this. And there is one more thing we can do. We can expand it one more time. And we can see the exact details, what's happening here. We see that we checked for the class IFC project. And there is a name, right? And warning, the attribute value project uh, FZ key uh, house does not match the requirement. It means that this doesn't meet the requirement. So of course, because we use BIM voice, right? So let's see if I can copy this. I'm not sure. Copy. Let's see. Uh, if I go back to editor, then let's use doesn't work. Uh, let's see if it works without any requirement first. That would be interesting. So because it should pass. Uh, why? Because I'm, in this case, before adding any requirement, I'm just saying that, hey, go and see if we have any IFC project in our project, in uh, our model. And we see that uh, all data uh, has passed. But there are zero checks because, yeah, we have zero requirements, right? So we have to add the requirement. Again, create attribute, name, and yeah, let's put a number a, a name or let's go back to bonsai and if you click once here all the value will be copied so i'm going to go back to editor and paste this it copies the name of the attribute the attribute and the value you see like exactly like this so this is the attribute which is name in this case and equals and the value i'm going to remove the codes and everything else i will just keep the name and then i'll cut this okay i'll cut this and i just paste it here and now, when we run this audit, it should pass. And it passes because project uh, FZK house create uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, shall have an attribute with the name, with this name, right? And they are exactly the same name. Don't believe me? Let's mess that up again. Let's add one more S and run this again. We get a fail. So that's how you see that uh, uh, this thing works, right? I don't know about you guys, but I'm extremely excited about this. Oh my God, I've been waiting for so much time for this. And now we can use this. So now we can create, modify ideas, open ideas using only bonsai. Can you imagine the, open, the, uh, the opportunities here? Everything for free. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Um, I'm, I'm so happy. It's an amazing way to start my week because it's Monday today when I'm recording this. I think I'm going to publish this on Tuesday or Wednesday, but right now it's Monday and I'm extremely happy. I can't wait to use and to do more things with this amazing tool. I love it so far. I'm going to see what is the error and uh, try to report that. And then, yeah, then I'm going to use it more and more. If you are interested to learn more about these things, you know, you know, you know where to find me, right? Beamvoice friends. Just go to beamvoice.com, get in the group, let me help you master and create your ideas to save lots of time, to reduce, remove completely the discussions and the ambig ambiguities on your projects, right? Convert the requirements into ideas, check everything, share with everyone, show them how bad their models are and then try to get better models thank you so much for watching i'll catch you up in the next one bye